Hustle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, September 26th, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome you back to another refreshing edition of the world-famous Recap Wednesday, where we jump right into last week's action with a showdown in Seoul, Korea in this year's jam-packed Asian Grand Prix. In the 212 division, Hadi Shupin got some sweet, sweet redemption in the form of a very emotional win that brought him to his knees after being forced to sit out of the Olympia because of a visa issue. In the Classic Physique division, Stanimal Standalongu grabbed his second win of the year in very impressive fashion. And in the Men's Physique division, Brandon Hendrickson and his 24-carat smile won his first show as the reigning Olympia champ. And in bikini, reigning bikini Olympia champ Angelica Teixeira shut it down once again with another lights out performance. The Arkansas Razorbacks are on a pitiful three game losing streak and they look like they might be the running joke of the SEC this season. So hopefully if you were in driving distance of Little Rock last weekend, you turned off that embarrassing 44-17 loss to North Texas and went to check out some red hot bikini action at this year's Arkansas Pro. Bringing home the gold here was top 10 Olympian Casey Samsel, who fought off the emerging Jordan Lee in a tight race at the top. Former NPC National standout Jody Atkins looked strong in her season debut here, ending the night with a third place finish. Fourth place went to Chilean smoke show Melissa Soto Sadrava, and closing out the top five was native Texan Haley Fountain. If you live in North Carolina, you might want to fast forward 45 seconds here to avoid a PTSD episode. But for everyone else not impacted by the hurricane, it's time to run down all the action at last weekend's IFBB Hurricane Bay Pro. Bringing home the top prize in his first career classic physique show was Ahmad Ahmad, who clinched a 2019 Olympia berth in the process. Marsha Gungalves blazed the stage yet again to bring home the W in the open bikini and Elizabeth Stanton brought home the gold in Masters. The men's over 40 bodybuilding title went to Eric Hernandez, while the men's physique over 40 hardware went to the aptly named Tom DeFloria. Isabel Jackson led the way in the over 40 women's physique and wrapping things up here with her win in the over 40 figure was veteran Susan Clark. Now that we've buttoned up last weekend's action, I want to jump ahead to one of the big events on next weekend's schedule at the Legion Sports Fest, where it looks like we're going to see longtime veteran Stan McQuay hit the stage for the last time in his career. Outside of the fact that he's probably best known for being the guy who got Dr. Dre looking like the real life Iron Man, when you look at what this guy's done over a career that spans almost two decades, it's hard not to be impressed at the level of consistency that he's had from day one. And it would definitely be a fitting ending for a career well spent if he can manage to put it all together one last time and ride off into the sunset with the victory. One of the other big line items up on next weekend's agenda is way over on the other side of the Atlantic where first time Olympian Victor Rea will try to take another crack at knocking off some of the big boys at Saturday's Prague Pro. The Pride of Mexico is coming off the Olympia weekend where we saw him put together one of the better looks of his career. But as usual, this lineup in Prague is no joke, so he'll definitely need to cross a few T's and dot a few I's if he wants to be a factor in this lineup. Ray is at his best when he comes in dry and hard and doesn't try to get crazy filled out. So if he can stay right there in that sweet spot, he's a guy who's got the potential to be a dark horse X factor if all the cards perfectly fall into place. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.